Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have a really big Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to share with you a little bit of what I found for stocking stuffers or basket uh, or gift baskets. So let's go ahead and get right into the haul. Alright, so the first sign that I've got here, it says Monday should be optional. And I think this is a really great sign to include in like um, a co-worker's gift basket or anything like that. So that along with some like sticky notes, you have these different kind of sticky notes that they have at Dollar Tree. This one says FYI at the top of it and I just thought these were some really nice sticky notes and they have multiple uh, sayings at the top of it, different colors and then they just have your plain sticky notes that don't have to have anything on top of that. So sticky notes are always nice to include in that. Another thing that is real nice to be included are the Dollar Tree pens. And right now they are ha they have a three pack for a dollar and they have multiple designs. If you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, you'll see the other designs that I picked up. There were, uh, I believe, two or three other packs with different designs. And this one is just a coffee one and then this one is just a flower one. The next thing that Dollar Tree has that you could give for a friend or a coworker are these clip cups. And they had yellow and blue as well with different designs on it, but I just picked up this pink one with the roses on it. And they had this matching pencil cup. And then they had the matching like business card holder stand. So those are all great gifts for any coworker or anything like that. And you can just put that together in a little basket or something like that and uh, wrap it up and give that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to get into is just some, um, maybe like a friend who likes to do like facials, um, skincare, uh, comfy type basket. So these are the few things that I found and they have plenty more. This is just a couple of things that I picked up. So you can always just give them this cute little motivational sign along in their basket. And with that, you can include some Snugadoo socks. And they have different patterns and colors in this. Snugadoo socks are so soft. I personally love these. They are so soft and come in many cute designs. Another thing that you can throw in there is a wine glass. And this one from Dollar Tree says, has the lines of how much you're gonna fill your wine glass up to and it says good day, bad day, don't ask. Next I found this and this you can like use to gift them for like that spa fill or facials. Um, so this is a polishing cloth and that one says prep. And then they have a facial brush for exfoliating and again they had different colors in this facial brush and then they have this massager for toning and to pair with those you can grab a face mask, scrub, uh, facial cleanser, clay mask. This is one that I found and they had tons more options, but this is just one that I liked. And it already kind of went with the theme of pink and green. So that set right there is pretty cute. You can, um, you can throw in a lip balm as well and this is LA Colors Macaroon or Macaron I'm pretty sure they mean Macaroon and this one is the it says this is meant to be and they had like a berry one and I can't remember the other one um it was a pink one and a purple one but I went ahead and picked up this one The next few things that I think you could throw in that basket are this facial massager that I picked up. 
and they had multiple colors in this as well and this is from the sassy and chic travel friendly works with your preferred creams and serums and then another from sassy and chic is this beautiful eyelash curler i love that they had plenty of colors as well so i think that was it for the like spa gift basket Next, I'm going to get into if you have any little ones or little girls that like Frozen. They had quite a bit of Frozen things that you can put as stocking stuffers for a little girl or even make a gift basket. So I know she already has a stocking that is Frozen. So I went with a basket that I found at Dollar Tree. And let me go ahead and show you that basket real quick. So this basket reminds me of Frozen because it just has the snowflakes and I think it will go really well with all these items that I'm about to show you. So the first thing that I found were these um, Figaro bag clips from Frozen and they have both sisters, Elsa and Anna. And the next thing that I found was this design and wear your own crystal rings. And it comes with like paint, stickers, a few rings and stickers for them to decorate. A frozen puzzle and they had um, one other one that was just Anna, I believe. And then they had some like bigger ones, but because they're littler, I wanted to stick with the 48 piece. And the next neat thing that I found was a gem sticker art set. So I think they get like gems and then they get like a poster that they get to decorate with the gems and it kind of guides you with the numbers kind of like color by number but this is like gems by number I guess. Super cute. I think they would really enjoy it and like it. And the last thing that I found frozen are these wall decals and I don't know that these are technically new or just for Christmas but I did find these and thought that would be great to stick into that basket as well. Alright so that is it for the frozen basket. Now I found a few things of the little pony and so I'm going to go ahead and show you those real quick. So they have this little pony here and it's in pink and then I also picked one up in purple and if you see there it comes with like a little brush so that you can brush the pony's hair I thought these were real cute and then they also had a puzzle um, you can pair that with the little girl makeup that they're carrying right now I didn't grab any of that but they do have a few things there they have chapstick lip balms the few lip glosses that I did pick up are these here and it just has it's more of a unicorn theme on this one but you can still pair it with that pony. Um, this one is got a blue holder with it and a rainbow and a star. And these are really cute. And then the next one that I have is a star that says shine on and it's pink. I think a little girl would love these. Two things that I found were these sparkle by numbers, kind of like that frozen one. These sparkle by numbers, they are a unicorn though, but I mean, they can still go in with the pony stuff. And these are two different designs. This one sh looks like it's just going to be uh, the head of the unicorn. And this one looks like it's going to be with the body of the unicorn. So I picked those two up. I think those would all go nice in one basket. And then I went ahead and picked up some candy. Because you can always fill your basket with candy. Any kid loves candy. So they have these little gumball machines that I thought were super cute. They have different colors as well. I have a green and a red one here and I believe there was a blue one. I also picked up some Sour Patch Kids and they have tons of candy at Dollar Tree. These are just some things that I picked up just to fill up the basket. And then they also have these Cookies and Cream Snowman. I didn't see like a whole set of LOL things, but if you wanted to go to a Dollar Tree and pair it with maybe some stuff that you find at Dollar General, I did find these sun catchers that were LOL doll. 
and I thought they were super cute and would go good in a gift basket or just wrap it up and have that as a present you know it doesn't have to go like in a gift basket or anything it can be a present and it looks like it comes with three sun catchers um, with the paint and then the um, little tie-ons I know lol is really popular and then I thought this was really cute because I used to do this when I was little and make those little ABC jewelries. So Dollar Tree had these and I picked up a few of them. The next thing that I picked up were um, some tie-dye sets. So they have multiple colors at Dollar Tree and it's just a single set. So I picked up a pink one, a purple one, and a blue one because I know the girlies love to play with tie-dye, so I thought these were really neat as stocking stuffers as well. All right, guys, so that's all that I found for the girlies. Um, next, I'm gonna get into a few things that I saw for boys, and they're not like all matching like the same theme, but these are a few things that I picked up. I have a three-year-old, and I bet he would love these, or I know that he would love these, so I picked some stuff up to give you some ideas of what Dollar Tree has for any boys. I picked up was the Sun Catchers, and this is the Spider-Man one, kind of the same as that LOL dolls, and this comes with three Spider-Man designs that they can decorate with the paint. The next thing that I picked up that my son loves to play with is some Play-Doh, and this just has some tools in it for him. It has a roller and some cookie cutters. And they have actually the brand Play-Doh right now in all sorts of colors for a dollar each container. But I think at Walmart you can get it a few cents cheaper. So whichever store you're at and your kiddo likes Play-Doh, um, you can grab it just a few cents difference. Um, dollar Tree is also carrying packs of the cutters. Um, like in just a pack without the play-doh so i thought that was really nice i didn't pick that up because my son is three and i knew he would just lose all those little parts so i thought that little one with the play-doh with a few of the cutters were was perfect for him because i know those are going to just get lost the next couple of things that i found were these science by me um little little projects and this one's a volcano and this says it comes with uh, one plastic volcano, one packet of baking soda. I've never messed with these before, so when we open and mess with it, it will be the first time. The next one that I got is the Rocket Blast one. And this comes with baking powder and a film canister with three fins and the instructions. I found him some puzzles that I know he will love. My son loves puzzles, so you can never go wrong with puzzles for this boy. And I have this Paw Patrol 48 count one. And they had tons of puzzles, but Paw Patrol is just what he's into as well as like Avengers superheroes. The next thing I found were these superhero ones and this is a 24 piece puzzle. I found PJ Mask pop out. So it looks like he gets to color them, pop them out and take and play. So they're like little figurines that you get to color and it looks like it comes with markers and stickers with the pop out. Oh, it says here four coloring boards, three washable markers, a 24 page fun pad and 25 stickers. I don't know about you all, but I remember I used to love playing with this and like even create my own where you got colors and colored them all, the paper all different colors and then you went over it with like black and then you would scratch it off. I don't know if you all ever did that, but I did and I thought it was super cool when I saw these. And it comes with 50 pieces and it's just um, 50 sheets and your stick and you just get to draw with it. I don't know that this is going to him. It just takes me back um, 
to memories and so I picked it up whenever I saw it. I thought that was neat. The next thing that I found was this travel games and they had one other one. Um, and I think that one's more for older kids. Like when you're traveling, you got to like look for license plates and little games like that in that book. But I just got this more simpler one for him, travel games. And it has 20 activities and it works with wipe off markers. I found these um, dry erase markers for him. And then he can just like use a napkin in the car to erase. And then the next thing that I found was because he likes to like stack those Jenga blocks and just tumble them down and play with things like that. I found these dominoes and they even had some different dominoes like they had frozen dominoes, they had some other princess dominoes and dinosaur dominoes but he's not into dinosaurs and then obviously I wasn't going to get him the princess one so I just got him some regular old dominoes and I think he'll have fun with them just the same. All right, that's it for the gift baskets, uh, stuffers or stocking stuffers, whatever you want to use them as, all the items that I found for those. Next, I'm just going to go in and show you a few fun finds that I found. Um, so, first off, I love this velvety bows that they have. These velvety bows are so pretty and look so high class. They have the velvet outside and inside it's like the gold, um, foil and then it's like a two pack so this is one bow and then this is another one and I also picked it up in red and white and I believe they had a green one as well I just think these are really pretty to put on your packages or on your Christmas presents I thought these were beautiful um, I went ahead and picked me up some basket bags and they actually have just not the clear ones but the Christmas ones as well with like Christmas prints on it. I just picked me up some plain ones and they come with two. Another uh, fun find that I thought was really cute for like a uh, man stocking stuffer um, and they had quite a bit of stuff but I just picked up uh, these two things. Um, but they do have quite a bit of things for men. They had cologne. I believe they had body wash. Um, then they had all these like little handy tools and things like that and that sort. But I didn't grab any of those. But I did think these were really cool just to even have like in your craft room or for yourself. And this is like a portable screwdriver. And I know this will come in handy because my son has a bunch of toys where you have to have like a little screwdriver to unscrew some things. So I thought I'd pick that up. And they had different colors as well. I got black and they had blue and red. And then next was this six in one stylus pen. It's a pen, stylus, ruler, level, Phillips, and flat screwdriver. I thought that was really neat. Multi tools as well as crafters need. The next thing that I found was this really pretty picture frame good for an office desk. I really like that to sit on my office desk. It's just got gold trimming around it and then um, it has like this little backing part where it's gonna lean up on. This is gonna set down and then this part will kind of move. Very cute and sleek and classy. Um, the next few random things that I found was one of these wood pen holders and these are great to DIY with. Um, the next one that I found was the square shaped one. The next thing that I found was a metallic marker and I just got it in white. They also had silver and gold. I haven't tried these out yet, so I'm excited to try this out. I also picked up some felt letters in white. I have them in black and red. And I saw these white ones, so I went ahead and picked these white ones up. And then some paint brushes. This is a two pack. It comes with a really thick one and then a really tiny, um, detailed brush. If you saw my last haul, you got to meet my cat Cheeto and he is beyond spoiled. 
They actually got some new toys in for cats, maybe for Christmas. I don't know if they're permanently carrying these new toys that they got. But they're like a pack of four. And they had blue and pink. So, of course, I picked up the blue one for my little boy, Cheeto. And um, they come with multiple toys here. That cat's going to own like every toy from Dollar Tree. <laughs> You saw that other basket that I picked up from Dollar Tree with the snowflakes on it for the Frozen. I also think that this storage container would make a good basket and um, you can put things in there and then they can reuse this basket as well. So there's that and that's for all year, not just for Christmas. They also have these gold baskets that you can use. You can just cover this part up uh, with some of... Uh, paper shred like the ones that you use in Easter baskets and I just had this on hand this one isn't at Dollar Tree but Dollar Tree does carry some and um so you can cover the bottom up with this um if you think that might fall out I was also thinking that with Dollar Tree's fabric you can roll it out on here and cover the bottom up with that so you can lay all your stuff out another basket that I thought would be really nice was this storage basket and they had it in the red buffalo check and then they have it in the white and black buffalo check. So any of those baskets I think are really cute. Dollar Tree has tons of baskets to choose from. So any of them would look nice. Um, if you like to color coordinate, they have all kinds of colors, all kinds of baskets. So at the end of this video, I'm just going to show you a few ways that I put some of the baskets together that I got and I'll just let you watch that um pretty self-explanatory and organizing a basket I'll just share with you how I'm making these baskets look um but that is all for this haul I hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for all notifications of future DIYs and hauls. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.